circular arrangement. Let's have a look at the questions in circular arrangement. The first question says something like this. How many different ways are there to seat four people around a circular table consisting of four chairs? Now, how many people do I have? I have four people. How many chairs do I have? Four chairs. You would apply the learning and you will directly say that it is four factorial. Which I would say is exactly wrong. Why is it wrong? Let's start thinking. Let's place this table inside a room which has four chairs. First chair, second, third and fourth. Yes, there are four chairs here. And four people are waiting outside the room. When the first person walks in, in how many different ways can he sit? He can sit in only one different way. Why am I telling you one different way? You might be thinking that there are four chairs, he can sit in four different ways. No. Because this is a circular arrangement, wherever the person sits, that will be called the first way. Let me, to understand it better, let me break open the circle and we have a linear arrangement here. And this same linear arrangement, I'll place the chairs back. Okay. Now, in this room, there are four chairs and four people are waiting outside the room. When the first person walks in, he can sit in the first to the left, second to the left, third to the left or fourth to the left. Or he can sit in the chair which is first to the right, second to the right, third to the right or fourth to the right. Here we have references as left and right. But what if the circular table is placed inside the room? When the first person walks in, do we have any reference? No. So wherever he sits, it becomes the only way. Now, let's presume that person is sitting over here. Now, as soon as the person sits, so one way, let's presume the person is sitting here and that is the one way. Now, as soon as the person sits, wherever he sits, he creates a reference point. When the second person walks inside the room, he can sit first to the right, second to the right or third to the right to the person who is already seated or first to the left, second to the left or third to the left to the person who is already seated. So what did this person do? After sitting, he created a reference. When the second person walks in, so he can sit in how many different ways? He can sit in three different ways. Next person, two different ways. Next person, one different way. Now, if the question is something like this, the same question, I'm changing the number of people and chairs. How many different ways are there to seat five people around a circular table consisting of five chairs? So what is it? Five people and five chairs. Now, when the first person walks in, in a room which consists of five chairs, wherever he sits will be considered as the first way. Now, after he sits, he creates a reference. When the second person walks in, he can sit first to the left, second, third, fourth, yes, or first to the right, second to the right, third to the right, or fourth to the right of the person who is sitting already. So, in how many different ways can he sit? He can sit in four different ways. The next person, three different ways. Next person, two. Next one, one. Whenever the number of people are equals to number of chair, that is R people and R chairs in case of circular arrangement will give us R minus 1 factorial. Now we have taken up questions where the number of people were equals to number of chairs. Let me take a question where I'll have 3 people and five chairs. So, when the first person walks into a room consisting of five chairs, in how many different ways can he sit? He can sit in only one different way. As soon as he sits, what does he do? He creates a reference. So, when the second person walks in, in how many different ways can he sit? He can sit in four different ways. And the third person walks in, he can sit in three different ways. Help me solve another question. The question says there are three people and seven chairs in how many different ways they can be uh, they can sit in a circular arrangement 
First person walks in, he can sit in one different way. Second person walks in, he can sit in six different ways. Third person walks in, he can sit in five different ways. There are many other questions in circular arrangement with multiple condition, conditions that we will be taking up in advanced courses. Let's start with forming words. Here the question will be something like this. In how many different ways can the word hate be arranged? The one rule that we have to follow here is that not every word has to make a meaning to us. Now if you pay attention, how many letters do I have here? Four letters. It is nothing but a question which is about four people and four chairs. So, how many different ways can four people be arranged? They can be arranged in four factorial ways. Now, if I take up an example, something like India. I-N-D-I-A. Now, how many letters do I have here? Five letters. Five letters can be rearranged in how many different ways? They can be rearranged in five factorial ways. Is this it? No. I have to again divide it with 2 factorial. Wait, wait. Now, why am I dividing it with 2 factorial? In a while, you will get to know. Now, if I have a word, say, calculator. How many letters? 3, 3, 6, 3, 9 and 10. So, 10 letters can be rearranged in how many different ways? 10 factorial ways. Now, repetition part. C is repeating how many times? 2 times. So, I need to divide it with 2 factorial. Next, A is repeating 2 times. Again, I have to divide it with 2 factorial. L is repeating 2 times. So, again, I have to divide it with 2 factorial. Now, is there any repetition other than this? No. So, this is my answer. Now, if I take another, your favorite letter. engineering yes so this word consists of how many letters 3 3 6 and 9 and 11 so this is nothing but 11 word 11 letters can be rearranged in 11 factorial ways and i have a repetition of e how many times is it repeating three times so i have to divide it with three factorial again n is repeating three times again three factorial g is repeating two times 2 factorial, i is repeating 2 times, 2 factorial, is there anything that is repeating, that's it. So this is my answer. To understand the concept, why am I dividing it with the number of repetitions? Allow me to take the word India again. Can I rearrange India as to be i, i, n d a let me take this one as i1 and this one as i2 this is i1 this is i2 now again i'll put up i2 i n d a is there any difference between these two words apart from i1 and i2 when you read it won't they be the same Yes. So, to eliminate the repetition that is occurring because of taking my i, i, n, d, a twice, I am dividing it with 2 factorial. In the next type of questions, we will be dealing with a condition where we have to keep all the vowels together. And my word will be something like this. Algorithm. Question is, in how many different ways can the word algorithm be arranged such that all vowels always stay together? What are my vowels here? Vowels are A, O, I. What are my consonants here? Consonants are L, G, R, T, H and M. If you remember, we have, haven't we solved such type of question previously? Yes, all boys are together. So, what do I do? I consider all the boys as to be a single unit in the previous case. But here, I will consider all the vowels as to be a single unit. So, how many consonants do I have? 
थ्री थ्री सिक्स सिक्स कॉन्सनेंट एंड वन यूनिट वन सिंगल यूनिट ऑफ वोबल्स हाउ मेनी पीपल इट इज नथिंग बट हैविंग सेवन पीपल इन हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट वेज कैन सेवन पीपल बी अरेज दे कैन बी अरेज इन सेवन फैक्टोरियल वेज एंड दीज वोबल्स कैन रीअरेज अमॉन्ग दम सेल्स यस सो इन हाउ मेनी डिफरेंट वेज कैन द वोबल्स बी रीअरेज अमॉन्ग दम सेल्स थ्री वोबल्स कैन रीअरेज अमॉन्ग दम सेल्स इन थ्री फैक्टोरियल वेज The next example that we are going to take up here is logarithms. In how many different ways can the word logarithms be arranged such that all vowels are always together? What are my vowels here? O, A, I. Any other vowels? That's it. What are my consonants here? L, G, R, T, H, M, and S. So what do I need to do? I need to consider all the vowels has to be a single unit. How many consonants do I have? I have seven consonants and one single unit of vowels. So totally together I have seven. Seven people can be arranged in seven factorial ways, and these vowels can rearrange among themselves. Yes, three vowels can rearrange among themselves in three factorial ways. How can you miss out on your favorite word engineering? here we also have repetition and vowels are supposed to be kept together so what are my vowels here e how many e's do i have three e's so let me write three e's next what is the next vowel i how many i's do i have two i's let them write to, together any other vowel no so what are my consonants here n n one more n How many G's? G, G, two G's, and anything else? And a R. Yes, that is it. Now, all my vowels are supposed to be treated as a single unit. How many consonants do I have here? Three, three, six, and one. Three, three, six consonants I have, and one set of vowels. So totally together I have seven people. In how many different ways can I arrange them? Seven factorial ways. So I have a repetition here. That is, n is repeating three times. So I need to have a three factorial in the denominator, and g is repeating two times. So I need to have a two factorial in the denominator. Now, these vowels can rearrange among themselves. So how many vowels do I have? Five vowels. They can rearrange in how many different ways? Five factorial. Ways and I have a repetition that is e is repeating three times, so I need to divide it with three factorial, and i is repeating two times, so I also need to divide it with two factorial. What if the question says something like this? It says, in how many different ways can the word algorithm be arranged such that the vowels are in odd position? I repeat it. In how many different ways can the word algorithm be arranged such that The vowels are in odd positions. Give it a try for this question and drop your answers in the chat box. And these type of questions will be taken up in our advanced courses. If you want to watch more free videos, download our app LOL from the Play Store. And if you have benefited by the videos you just watched, do like and share them. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates. If you have any queries or doubts, please do drop them in the comment section. You can also reach out to me or my team through any of the social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram the link for which is provided in the description below You can also get latest updates about upcoming examinations and our new courses on our social media platforms